Hey guys, just wanted to hop in here and say hello. How are you? Hope you're um, staying safe in all of this. A couple of weeks ago when all the news about, you know, COVID and current whatever came down, I, I was pretty engrossed in the news. Like I would watch the different briefing sessions, both when it was Pence doing it and eventually when Trump took over. And I paid a lot of the t attention to what was actually happening in the news at the time. But one thing I found was it gave me, as much as I was happy to know, you know, what was happening in New York, what was happening all around the world, um, I realized that the constant barrage of um, that information was creating a lot of fear. Um, but I decided to do a quick pivot and focus my attention on what I actually um, could do with my time right now. Okay, for 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 um th th those of you who don't know me, uh, who happen to be on my wall anyway, uh, welcome to my page. <laughs> Chia Gozi family, pediatric anesthesiologist, uh, also a real estate investor, and I love to help physicians get started investing in real estate as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So today, I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that I that I started doing in the past few weeks to keep my sanity. So as you know, I mean, I am in medicine. I, I, I still go to work. I still have to wear masks at work and think of, and literally think about the, what's going on with COVID on a day-to-day -day basis. But I also had to preserve my sanity, okay? Preserving my sanity <laughs> in all of this um was what was important to, 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 to me so one one thing that i have done is to start to focus on what i actually want to focus on so at the beginning of the year i wrote down a couple of goals and i have them like on a board in front of me in my bedroom and i see it every single day and lately i have said that you know what in spite of all that's happening those remain my focus. I cannot change my focus because of COVID. I cannot change my goals because of COVID. Those are still my goals. And we may have to shift in the methods, but those goals stay the same. Um, what, how else have I been able to actually do that? Having a group of, a group of people around me to keep me accountable, having a group of people around me to keep, to support me. Like I... We started the um, group for for, for um, other physicians uh, praying along um, during this time, and that has been a, a good source of of support. So why am I telling you all of this? It's to say that, yes, we are in unprecedented times. No one that, that I know has been through something this, um, this imposing or this disrupting, but we do know that Fretting about everything will not change the outcome, but we can control the things we can control. What am I reading these days? I just completed the book, um, The Power of Consistency. I also just started reading Atomic Habits, and I've literally been changing the little things that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis to see how I can improve myself while the while the while things are a uh, you know much slower pace than previously and i have tried to identify what key habits i can develop for my life and business so that by the time all of this is done i come out in a very in in a much stronger position than i went in one thing that i say very often to people is listen by the time this pandemic is done covid will wish it did not come near me <laughs> cuz there is so much. I've forced myself to kind of peel away the fear, peel away the anxiety, peel away the tension, and try to identify the pockets of hope, the pockets of opportunity, the things that I can work on that um that will get me in a better place. So like this afternoon we worked on our taxes, like okay, when last did we have time to be off together? All right, so now we can actually get things done. So it's the same thing that, I, that, 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 that I'll encourage you to do if you're listening, that you know what, see if you can just, pe right now the TV is off. We can't keep watching updates, okay? People are dying. It's, it's true. It is, it is fact. But we can't keep taking that in because it will just cause fear. Um, so peel away the fear 
and try to identify the things that you can work on. If you have additional time, what can you use that time for? What can you use that time for? What productive things can you do? Um, <laughs> yeah, if I, what productive things can you do with, the, with this period? You know, can you bond with your kids more? You know, can you spend more time with your spouse? Can you work on that business idea that you've been putting up for the longest time? All right. I uh, just wanted to share a couple of thoughts, just things going through my head, things that I'm actively working on. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple more of these. To, the ones that I'm going to do tomorrow, from, from tomorrow onwards, I'll be, will be more focused on real estate because I know a lot of people have wanted to invest in real estate, but they either said they didn't have the time, the time to learn, time to search for deals, time to do all of that. Yep, I am still searching for deals. Yep, I still am. I'm going to be talking for the seller this afternoon. So yes, there are opportunities, there are things out there, but if you let yourself get choked up by fear, that is not discounting what is happening in the hospitals. That is not discounting what is happening in people's lives, people who are actually already affected by this um, problem. But what I'm saying is, while you have life and health and vitality, you cannot let yourself be choked up by fear. You should do what you need to do you know, stay home if you can, um, wash your hands, put on your mask if you have to, but find those pockets of hope and opportunity and capitalize on them during this period so that you come out of this a much better person than you went in. All right, not to keep this too long, if you want to um, join me tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about how to find great real estate deals, even in this market, what I'm doing right now and how we're moving things around all right guys well thanks for thanks for hanging out with me um hope you have a wonderful wonderful afternoon god bless you bye bye